Welcome to the Passenger Web App, PWA, Settings and Customizations video. In this video, we will be going over how to set up your PWA, theme colors, company logo, app icon, app name, and SEO properties. Now, the Passenger Web App, PWA, it's an app that anyone with a mobile device and browser can access to book and manage their trips easily. Now to get to the PWA settings and customization section, just go to My Office, Online Reservations, and PWA. Now if you have enabled PWA and purchased it for your system, you will get a screen like this. If you do have the alias module, and you have separate PWAs for each alias, you can use the select alias drop down here to select the appropriate alias and customize or change the settings for each one of those. So under the settings tab, the first thing you have is the SEO properties. Now you can set things here like title, description, domain name, and your Google Tag Manager code. Now to understand what this exactly changes, you can see here a preview of how it would look. So this is your title, URL, and the description. That would show if you're sharing the link um, or it's searched in Google or Facebook or Twitter or in a text message or anything like that. So to edit the title, you can type in uh, what you want the exact title to appear as maximum of 60 characters you can put in your description uh, this is kind of to just quickly grab your customers or clients attention uh, so they go to your particular PWA it is a maximum of a hundred and sixty characters and last here you have your domain name if this is entered, it will sometimes appear in the shared links instead of the pwa.mylimobiz.com. So we recommend probably using your main website um, as the domain name here. And then you have your Google Tag Manager code. Uh, you do get this from Google. Uh, if you have set up your Tag Manager, um, you just enter in everything that appears after the GTM code. URL links and QR code. So here we give you an easy way to just click and copy links to your clipboard if you need to just quickly you know, email it out or put it on your website for marketing, anything like that. We also provide you with a QR code. So this, your clients can scan to quickly access your PWA. Now you can place this on your website, any emails, social media, just as an easy way to drive traffic to your PWA. If you need to download the QR code, you can click get SVG file or get PNG file. We have the two different formats there. Now if you make any changes to this particular page or the customization page make sure that you click save and publish but make sure it's all set before you do that because once you click save and publish it is live and visible to all new users now we'll go to the customization tab and in here this is where you're going to set your accent color your app short name your app icon the company logo, the background color, the background image, and that call to action. So I will go through each one of these and show you kind of how it looks on the PWA and what you're updating and what you're changing so you can get the correct look and feel that you want your clients to experience. First, under global, you have your accent color. So this will be applied to links and buttons and selections within your PWA. So if you see the preview here, you can click on Home, Vehicle, Menu, and load those up. 
Can you see this? This is the accent color. When I'm showing you these buttons, the link, the highlights, and the menu, how it looks, anything like that, that is your accent color. Now if I do change it to blue, you see it changes to blue. If you need to uh, select a particular color, you, we do provide you with a color picker. Um, you can uh, search for which one uh, you want. If it is, if you do have the hex number, you can copy and paste that in there. And just make sure you click set so it gets set and saved for that uh, accent color you want. Now, app short name. This is a max of 20 characters. We recommend 11 characters, including spaces. But basically, this is what will show on the app icon if your customer installs your PWA to their device. So as you can see here, I have Limo Anywhere, but if I do change this to something else, you can see in the preview the app short name is updating. Now this app short name will also uh, affect the app icon default if you don't have one uploaded. So you see it has the AB uh, that is pulling from the app short name. Now, the app icon. This is what will show if your clients do install the PWA to their mobile device. So if you are uploading, the image must be exactly 1024 pixels by 1024 pixels. It can't be any less or more than that. The format has to be in PNG or JPG. The background, non-transparent, and do not round any corners. Uh, it will do that for you as you can see in this particular preview. Now, if you want to uh, use this as your particular app icon, you are more than welcome to do so. Uh, but we do recommend that you upload an image for your app icon. That way, it gives your customers a good uh, look and feel branded to your company home screen you have the company logo here this has to be a minimum width of 400 pixels the format and png in the background must be transparent so you would just upload that as well here just like you do the app icon and this really is what shows right here on the home screen as you know this is the home screen so your home screen there's your company logo. Now background color and background image kind of work together. So if the background color will only be visible if the background image doesn't load or you choose not to use an image. So the background is this right here. As you can see, if I select white and use no image, use color, uh, you can see that changed the background there. Now I can set my own background color if I'm going to use that, but we do kind of recommend to use a background image. That way you get a better kind of look and feel um, in your PWA. And lastly here we have the call to action. So this is what appears here on uh, the home screen. It's just to kind of motivate and catch your client or um, customer's eye to prompt them to go ahead and start booking. We do provide you with three examples that you can use. So let's reserve your luxury ride. Let's create your next trip or book a ride. And you see as I click on those, it changes there and loads in here. Or you can create your, your own custom one if you want. And uh, that will appear in that particular um, line right there. Now, just like I said in the settings tab, if you make any changes here that you want to go ahead and make it visible to all your new users of your PWA, click Save and Publish.
once you click save and publish it's going to be instantaneous for all your new users that uh, open up the PWA or any you know existing users they just need to refresh the PWA and the new changes will appear so just to kind of show you how that looks in a live PWA you can scan with your phone this QR code and it'll take you to the live preview of your PWA as you can see here this is what it will look like you see my theme colors logo all of that that concludes the PWA settings and customization video thank you very much for your time if you are wanting to purchase the passenger web app PWA please contact our sales team at 1-888-888 zero three zero two or email them at sales at limoanywhere.com if you're needing any support you can call one eight 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 zero three zero two or email support at limoanywhere.com thank you very much